I personally suffer from arthritis. I've suffered from arthritis all my, all my life. And the main reason is I have what's called early post-traumatic arthritis. When I was young, I was involved in a motor vehicle accident. I was run over by a bus and it mangled my knees. Both knees were badly damaged. My, knee, my joints were deformed. They were damaged. Uh, I had open fractures. They became infected. I've had numerous procedures to, um, to improve the alignment just to help me walk. But you know, over the last uh, 10 years, and the pain got worse. I, I noticed that my uh, motion was not as good. And my, uh, my flexion extension of my knees diminished. I, I was getting uh, weaker. I was having more pain. So as an orthopedic surgeon, with this going on in my life every day, I thought, I really need to uh, look at options for treating arthritis. And because I'm in a field that uh, I can't really be off for months at a time, uh, I felt that it was smarter for me to look for non-surgical options. I can certainly have a knee replacement, but because of my deformities, my knee replacement will be very complex and it may even lead to complications. And I really can't afford having complications as a father with children having a job. I, I can't afford that. So uh, I, think, I think that's uh, similar um, thinking of my own patients. They have, many of my patients have that same sentiment. You know, they work, they really don't want to have a knee replacement, they have arthritis that's affecting their lives, so what options are there? Well, I've been thinking about this for many years, and I've been doing research, and I've been learning from people that are already doing it. And what I've uh, come uh, to know is that there are other options for treating arthritis, including uh, platelets, uh, hyaluronate injections, um, different types of uh, therapies, including uh, active release therapy, um, um, deep tissue work, uh, yoga. And then there's, of course, different types of surgeries um, that are minimally invasive, which I actually um, uh, uh, at, which, which are part of my algorithm for treating arthritis. But the most exciting uh, component of, of uh, the treatment of arthritis for me is regenerative medicine options. So regenerative medicine, what does that really mean? Uh, what does that include? Uh, for the most part, I think everyone's heard, or most people have heard about platelet-rich plasma. Very common procedure, it's been done now probably for about 15 years, at least a mainstream clinical practice platelet-rich plasma. What does that mean? That's a procedure where we take your own blood. Uh, it's a simple um, um, blood draw. We spin uh, the blood numerous times in a centrifuge, high speed, maybe 15 minutes, maybe multiple spins, and we concentrate the platelets that are in your blood. What we've learned over the few years, over the last few years, is that platelets do more than just stop bleeding. They actually release cytokines. They can activate stem cells, or specifically mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, and promote healing. So it, uh, it's, it's um, very commonly used regenerative treatment option, which I have actually had done on my knee. The other uh, treatments that you, you'll be hearing about more and more are adult stem cell treatments. And these are treatments where we uh, are able to harvest mesenchymal stem cells, which are, which are cells that have the ability to convert into muscle, uh, ligaments, cartilage, but more importantly is that they release these bioactive substances that can, that can promote uh, um, injury healing and are anti-inflammatory in and of themselves. So these, uh, these cells can actually uh, uh, help people who have knee pain from arthritis or from injury. So we have bone marrow derived stem cells and more recently we have a fat derived stem cells in the form of a procedure called lipogems. So with this technology in, uh, uh, of regenerative medicine, people like myself who are active, who are really not ready for a knee replacement, uh, have options. And these uh, are good options that help uh, possibly uh, extend the longevity of an arthritic knee to the point that uh, um, one may not need a, surgical, a significant surgical procedure like a knee replacement. And that's where I'm at. I'm in that same boat as my patients. I have skin in the game, so to speak. I don't want a knee replacement. I'm active. 
and I've learned through uh, the field that I'm in that there are other options. So to me, that's very exciting. I'm in the center uh, of regenerative medicine, learning about it, implementing it, uh, following my patients, and uh, it's given me hope uh, with my own knee uh, that, uh, that there's something out there that might be able to uh, help me so that I don't have to have a knee replacement right now. And I'm really happy about that. And that's why I'm excited and I do uh, practice regenerative medicine.